So in just about an hour, I made a dense forest using Unity as you can see on screen right now. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you guys through the whole process of how I made this forest in Unity, which assets I used, what kind of techniques I used, and basically give an overall guide of how I made this and how you can make something similar. Keep in mind that this video series is still new. I just started this like a couple weeks ago and this is literally episode two. I don't wanna call it episode two, but it technically is because it's the second video that I make for this series. So it's, I'm basically open to feedback what is what I'm trying to say. Like I'm all ears if you guys have any suggestions or ideas on how I can improve this series and help you guys better. So let me know in the comment section if you guys have any suggestions and if you have any questions about level design or this video or anything else related to game development really um, because we're a whole community that love to help each other out. And we also have a Discord server with over 10,000 like-minded game developers. Overall, it's a fun community to be part of so if you guys want to join us it's completely free make sure to click the link in the description of this video and also this video is brought to you by Jason Wyman Jason is an instructor and a developer who's made the incredible unity masterclass the mastery course will teach you everything from the fundamentals and basics of game development all the way to using Unity for your professional projects. You'll start off by building a full 2D game using Unity and focus heavily on C Sharp to get a good grasp on coding. The course will then take you to 3D and even multiplayer. While working on these projects, Jason is going to be showing how to create the fundamentals for each project and one thing I love about Jason's course is that he enables you the option to work along other students and not only that but he involves one-on-one -on -one interaction between you and himself. You can check out more about Jason's Unity Mastery course through the link in the description. Our link is also set up with a special discount code special to our community so you will get 60% off the initial price. Now with that being said, let's talk level design. And then I just started highlighting and sculpting a little bit, basically highlighting wherever I want to have some raises and lower parts of the terrain, where I want to place some cliffs and rocks and stuff like that. And then you will see that I start using a tool called Quick Brush, which is going to be linked in the description of this video. And then I add in grass, and now you'll see that it becomes darker, the grass itself. If you're wondering how I made it, it's basically the post-processing ambient occlusion, which I use in order to basically serve the grasses instead of other other game objects in general. And by serving the grass, I mean it's making the grass more kind of like affected by shadows and casting shadows on each other. Well, makes it seem like it at least. <laughs> Fake it till you make it. I'm just doing that. And then I added some color enhancing, a sky dome, which is also an asset that's going to be linked in the description. And then I added some bloom and color enhancing as well to make it more green and more vibrant. And now you can see that I made the clouds move down. And that's done because I want to have a little bit more misty slash cloud kind of environment so I just made the clouds move down increase the size and made them look more like fog instead of just like a cloud on top of the screen and you can already see the grass that I'm adding in here is looking very nice as in terms of like they have shadows they're affected by the fog and that's because mainly because they're they're 3d models which I love using instead of using the 2d billboarded textures for the terrain system and then I added some cliffs in order to make it more populated around the scene and one goal that I have with this scene actually or had is making it look dense right because even the speed level design video that I made for this was literally titled dense forest in unity and I just wanted to make it more dense and at the same time remain basically make sure that it remains its performance and is optimized as well so you can see that I just added some light object a spotlight onto the rock right here right and that's because the the sun was not doing enough and I wanted to have it a little bit more kind of like highlighted because this rock is pretty much in front of the camera right away and I just basically added some spotlight and I'm doing the same step for this rock here which actually is a cliff in this case and that's because the shadows on this one were too strong so I just wanted to eliminate that harsh shadow make sure it's not pitch black and then add some grass around it so in order to make it more optimized, I used LOD, which is also called Level of Detail in Unity. And I was very, very careful with the density of my grasses because I wanted to add some more flowers and some fern, some other types of grass. And I wanted to have pebbles like the ones that I'm adding right now. So I obviously like performance is a big issue with these types of scenes normally, like generally speaking. And I'm going to be fully honest with you guys. I was still unable to like 
make it a hundred percent performant, if you know what I mean. Um, but still, it was not laggy when I was playing the game or when I was trying to walk around the scene and stuff like that. So it didn't really create me any issues. And once again, that's because number one, LOD level of detail, and number two, making sure that the density is perfectly matched. So if I'm placing grasses, I'm trying to remove a little bit of that and replace it with some rocks. And once again, I'm using some more lights here. And these are basically just to give a little bit more shade onto the game objects um, or the rocks and cliffs. Also, you can see that I basically added some grass onto this cliff right here. And that's I did that by basically raising the terrain below the rock and then painting grass on it. So it was kind of like a little bit of a cheat, but still it was a fine technique to use. And you can already see that I have a bunch of different, like a huge variety of different game objects that I'm using here um, in order to make it look more dense. Now, one technique that I used here is making sure that this cliff is in a perfect alignment with this cliff right next to it. Because this is not a whole game object. This is one, this is two, and this is the terrain in the background. So I just raised the terrain perfectly to match the alignment and match the height of this cliff and continue onto this cliff. And then I made some dirt to make it look like, you know, some kind of path. Uh, walking up here and I do the same thing here just to, in order to add some more vegetation mainly but also make a path which makes it look more human because it's a forest there there are no paths almost and I just wanted to have something that you know adds this value of like oh human beings have been here <laughs> or maybe animals who knows right um, and once again like I said I'm adding some more grasses here now one thing that's interesting about this scene which I also received a lot of comments on is that it 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 looks dense, but it's not too much. And that's the point of making a dense level, in my opinion. Like basically what normally what people do, especially those who are just getting into level design and game design, is that when they place down rocks and then add, you know, some kind of skybox or lighting and stuff like that, they accidentally, actually not even accidentally, but they just make the rocks too dark because the shadows are kind of like pitch black and they just end up leaving it alone and then they start adding more and more and more game objects until they're out of the shadow zone. What I'm doing is I'm adding some more lights specifically to these objects because in Unity, as you know, you can layer game objects. So I just added a layer for each of these cliffs like rock one, rock two, or maybe even just like a cliff parent. Um, and then I started just adding some more lighting into the scene that would just affect those layered game objects. So I'm basically filtering out everything else in the scene except for the rocks. And that way I avoid adding way too many game objects to make it look dense and to make it look realistic and not too like darker and stuff. And now speaking of the pebbles, you can see that I'm adding more pebbles in here and pebbles is like a meme on this channel because every level design video I ever make is all about pebbles. I'm like, add them, add pebbles, add more pebbles. Do you have pebbles? Add more pebbles. Just because they make it look more, kind of like more dynamic. And you can see that I keep building on to this little path that I have, although I'm kind of breaking it by adding some more vegetation here just for the sake of like filling up this part which it makes it more natural and more naturey because it's you know instead of having a super clear path with nothing along the way I'm kind of like breaking it in the middle and then continuing and stuff like that now one thing you'll realize is that the trees are green the grass is green mostly um, the rocks are grayish so I just kind of wanted to have some more color in there some more variation and so I added these yellow ferns that I, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm trying to like show it whenever I'm like out of quick brush, but that's not really working out well. <laughs> so yeah, yellow, a little bit more yellow and just some yellow here. And then I added some bushes that were white flower as well. And once again, that's only because I wanted to add some more variation of color instead of making it look way too green. And that's like one mistake I realized with some people making nature scenes. They just make it super, super green. So here we go. This is the full scene. This is what I created in an hour in Unity. Um, I'm not gonna lie. This is not my best level design, but I'm very happy with it because I especially love how I basically made these cliffs. 
um, work with the terrain in the background. It really does look super natural. It just looks like these are basically a part of the, the terrain itself, right? And that's what I was meaning to do with this level. I just wanted to see how much of a realism I could achieve, personally speaking, from my skill level to achieve this. And I was able to, so I'm really happy. A few critical points for myself already from my own mouth. Um, the trees are... I wanted to... I want to say a little too dense and also they're not really like affected by shadows too much. I wish I made the fog affect them less and then added some more shadows in between them. Additionally, I was trying to add some mountain in the background here, but you can see that I kind of failed with something behind the trees. I, I don't even know what I placed there. I think it was like a mountain that I was trying to place, but I didn't really have time to like, you know, I set my time constraint to be an hour. So I tried to respect that constraint. So I just left it there. I think I may have even forgot to just like edit that or replace it. So it might just be my fault. But anyway, I'm really happy with the result. But yeah, those are pretty much like the few critical points that I have. Um, and one more thing, I was trying to make this mountain look more big as in terms of like covering this area and maybe something here. But at the same time, I kind of wish that I had more of the blue visible from the sky. And it's kind of like way too gray. The fog was too much. And not only on the trees, but they were really like it was really just like a gray sky. But there was sun on the ground. So I just don't really like appreciate that. Now for something good though, um, I really love the colors. I really, really, really love the shadows in the grasses. That's like what's making, number one factor that makes this level look real is this part, right? Making the cliffs and then the terrain in the background. It looks super natural. And then number two, the second factor is the shadows on the grasses. I mean, look at this. And number three, I would probably say that the pebbles and some grasses in between those pebbles sticking out. By the way, I spent a lot of time to actually like rearrange the grasses as in terms of positioning um, just to make sure that they're really sticking out in between the pebbles. So as you can see, these pebbles are once again like a huge prefab of different smaller pebbles, but they do have a base, meaning that if I, you know, place them wrong, the grass is wrong or the pebbles wrong, they would basically just cut off the grass and it wouldn't look very nice. But here you can see the full length of the grass, which makes it look more real. This tree, I don't, I don't like it. I should have just like done something else, but once again, time constraints. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty much it for this one. And here's actually another shot with a different lighting setup. And here's another one similar to the first one that I showed you guys, but with some light shafts. All right, so that should be a descriptive overview of how I made this forest in Unity and how you could do something similar as well. I think this new series might end up being very interesting to keep working on actually as I enjoyed making this one a lot. So let me know in the comments once again if you enjoyed this. Speaking of the comment section, if you have any questions or need help with level design or this video or this forest that I made, feel free to ask in the comment section and join our Discord server where we have over 10,000 like-minded game developers who love to help Help, chat, ask questions, share their progress, meme, and complain about YouTube. Literally anything you can find, you can find there. So you can join our Discord by going to the link in the description box of this video. Now, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to give this video a thumbs up to show some support and to hit the subscribe button to stay up to tune for new content. We're going to do a lot more graphics and level design kind of content, including tutorials, so you don't want to miss out. So with that being said, I'm going to be super active in the comment section and in our Discord server. So I look forward to see you guys there. Thanks for watching. Have a good night and peace out. Got these two cups to get two fucked. Good, good. That one got two sluts. Cause I'm too tough. I get two stuff. Let's get real. Get raw. Get two fucked. I said two cups to get two fucked. Good, good. That one got two sluts. Cause I'm too tough. I get two stuff. Let's get real. Get raw. Get two fucked.